what's good everybody so i am back to talk to you guys <laughs> this is my voice voice over y'all please don't judge me um i get really weird in front of cameras sometimes um but this part is pretty self-explanatory i've like covered my brows plenty of times on my channel um i just use some prosate adhesive and a light loose setting powder um here what i'm doing is i'm priming my face with the milk hydro bit primer my favorite primer ever and then I went in with the LA Girl Pro Foundation to go ahead and start covering one side of my face. Alright, so now what I'm doing is I take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to start to highlight my face. I will go under my eye, on my forehead, basically all the places that I would normally highlight. Uh, but except I'm not doing the whole thing. I'm doing half of it. <laughs> Guys, it felt so weird doing only one half of my face. It felt like I was doing something wrong the whole entire time. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. Blend, 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 blend. Yeah, awesome. And I uh, just put a little bit of the um, Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I think that's what that was. Cool. This is the Narrative Cosmetics Bruise Wheel. And I like to take this because... It acts as a contour and a blush at the same time. Um, I love plum colors, really deep colors like that. Um, it helps me later on down the line. I don't even know if I had to do my nose. And we are going to blend that out because we want a seamless blend. Um, blending cream products is literally one of my favorite parts. It's like my type of ASMR. It's so soothing to watch to break, blend cream products into each other. It's just amazing. Cool. And it's more brightness. beans so the powder I'm using right now is the black lady and setting powder um, I love the setting powder it's very finely milled and it really gets the job done it's pretty seamless and now we're on to brows um, I'm just using a cream um, like eyeliner pencil um, my brows are normally always black but you can use different color eyeliners as well so they have like blues um, blonde colors um, honestly whatever floats your boat uh, this white that I'm using is the Jeffree Star Lip with Lipstick in the color Drug Lord. Um, I use it because it's white and it's cool to use as a base. And I'm just using it to clean up my brow right now and prime my lid. I'm mixing that with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because that concealer is really thick and um, it, it acts as a great primer. I want to use the lipstick to highlight and the concealer to prime the lid. Alright, this setting powder that I'm using right now is the same setting powder that I used to uh, bake, uh, the Black Radiance one. Alright, this powder that I'm using to contour is actually an eyeshadow from the James Charles Artist Palette. Um, the color is called Betty, and it's just deep enough for me to contour. So this powder that I'm using right now is the, I want to say the Revolution um, baking powder. Um, the color is terracotta, and it's um, it's like it, you can get it on Amazon. Just search terracotta uh, baking powder, and you'll be able to find it. I like to go under my contour with this because it really helps angle the face in a way that's very feminine. Alright, so we are now going to take that Jeffree Star Lip Lipstick in the color Drug Lord, and we're going to go ahead and drag that all over our eye, and we're going to go ahead and set it in place. Now we're going to go ahead and start adding in a new crease. I'm going to go ahead and use this burgundy shade to start mapping out where I want my new crease to be. And she's going to blend, blend, blend it out. So the next couple of steps is going to be me creating a gradient. We want to create a gradient so we can have more depth and we can have more dimension to the look. So I'm now going in at the base of my crease line with some black. 
to really, really deepen it up, and I'm gonna blend it out. I'm now gonna go ahead and flush some pink over it just to diffuse the edges. We diffusing. Go ahead and diffuse. Okay, I sped it up, but yeah, this diffused a lot. <laughs> and now I'm going back in with some purple uh, over that black, and we're just creating more depth. Cool beans. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut the crease, which is one of my favorite parts of the look. Um, it really adds some sharpness to the look. Um, so go ahead and use the concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and like a small, um, kind of like eyeshadow brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and like start to cut the crease. Alright, so I went ahead and dipped into the James Charles palette and I grabbed this really pretty blue. Um, all the colors in the palette are really pretty. Um, this blue is, you know, fantastic. Um, I forget what name it is, but um, I know I blended, yeah, there it is. I blended some purple into it and um, we're gonna blend those together just to get a cool little color story happening. Didn't really know what I was gonna do. Kinda just went up in here and just started putting colors on my face. <coughs> Sorry. I was holding my breath because eyeliner is so frustrating. It's so frustrating, I cannot. Nice, uh, so I'm using James Charles palette still and I took this uh, eyeshadow called Benny. I know that one because I use it so much um, for contour just to go ahead and reinforce and reinstate those contoured areas. I love doing this. Um, I'm taking that uh, my Sasha Buttercup powder and I just went ahead and dipped my a big fluffy brush in it and I'm lightly dusting that under on the highlighted areas. So I'm not really pressing it into the skin, I'm just setting it on top. Taking that Drug Lord by Dreffy Star to go ahead and give me a brow bone highlight with my new brow. I'm gonna take that eyeshadow and blend into that so we won't have any harsh lines. Cool, so now I'm just going around the eye, around the edges, and kind of smoking, diffusing it, making it look more blended. Um, as I do that, I'm, you know, taking away the baking powder, so that's why you keep seeing me reapply the baking powder, um, because as I work around my eye, it moves, it shifts, so I'm just taking that fluffy brush, and I'm literally lightly tapping it over those areas so it can sit there. Um, I love doing this. It really, really, really helps in the end. Yep, going back into that crease to deepen it up some more, creating more depth. Yes, so this is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter, and I'm going in and I'm gonna uh, just highlight the high points of my face. I've been really obsessed with highlighter lately, y'all, like it's crazy. I never really, this is where I messed up. I should have not put a highlighter on my brow bone because I knew that my um, eyebrow cover wasn't great, and the highlighter just brought out the jankiness of it. Slapping on some Lime Crime lipstick. And the color black velvet, you know what I mean? I love me a black lip and a black brow. 
Again, I'm tapping that powder, highlight powder into my highlighted areas. Um, but this time, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just buff away the edges. Okay, no, I went in with contour. <laughs> I'm using black. I like taking black, and I don't like contouring all the way to black. I like taking black at the eight, at you know, at the end, and um, basically working that into the deepest part of my contour. Reinforcing the brow with some eyeliner. And bam, there's the lash. Ooh. This is when I start feeling myself, y'all. We're gonna blend everything together. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. This is the power of makeup. I had so much fun recording this look day. It was a look that was really weird for me to do because just doing one half of my face felt very awkward. I mean, it was just weird. Um, but it was a lot quicker and I just have half the work to clean up now afterwards. I am super obsessed with it. Um, I try to make this side as draggy as possible. Usually, um, not usually, but sometimes I'll just fill in my brow instead of covering it up. But I decided to cover my brow up, draw a nice arched one, just so you guys can see the difference of the sides. Um, this, is, this is Venus Soleil and this is Brian McAllister, Venus Soleil. Brian McAllister, Venus Soleil, Brian McAllister. Mm. All right, kings and queens, I had so much fun recording this video for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click that bell, and give me a thumbs up. Until next time, see ya. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, <laughs> I'm crazy. Bye. <laughs>